Okay, what's going on, everybody? This is Lady Luck here again. And I am just finishing up my video pertaining to this Novatech scam. It's a scam. Period. It's a scam. Um, so that's going to be going up tonight. Posting up as soon as it's finished. You guys are going to want to check that out. I got to say, I think it's the longest video that I've ever done. And um, for good reason. It clears up a lot of misconception involving the law. Particularly pertaining to wire fraud, cease and desist orders. The differences between a cease and desist letter and an order. Um... And why would anyone think that starting off a video with I'm not a financial advisor and I am not giving financial advice is going to actually absolve you of potentially incurring wire fraud charges or even an attempt wire fraud charge. It does not absolve you of that. One of the things I said in that video was that basically you can take that same concept, go to a bank with a weapon and a ski mask, and then go in there and shout, I am not a financial advisor and I am not here to give you financial advice. And then you still rob the damn bank. You will still be charged with armed robbery and theft and probably some aggravated assault and battery and anything else if you put your hands on somebody. Maybe a tip to murder if you shoot somebody and capital murder if you do kill someone. Going in and announcing that you're not a financial advisor, you're not giving financial advice, is literally irrelevant to the actual wire fraud charge in and of itself. And you can check that out on the Department of Justice website. Many of you are going to be in for a rude awakening when you realize that all of your videos, your posts, your messages, your emails, fax, phone calls, them stupid Zoom calls, Zoom presentations, any post you put on a social media platform, which is a public platform, will be, if need to be, used against you in the court of law. Promoting a scam with any electronic communications is wire fraud. If you do it with the intent to commit wire fraud, you will be charged and you will have to answer to that federal charge. Look at that. So I, you know, go into detail. I even pull up the definition for those who don't like, you know, Googling or reading, or somehow you have allowed this woman to bamboozle you all into thinking that laws aren't laws and she does not have to abide by them, which is absolutely absurd and ridiculous and laughable on every level. So I know her little behind listen to my videos. I know she do. And I know that many of you send my videos to her. So look, girl, uh, you go on somewhere, sit the hell down and shut up, you fake reverend. Go sit down somewhere. You violating laws, you violating cease orders. If you can't even Google what a cease and desist order is on your own, I can't take you seriously when you're talking about trading crypto anything. You cannot be devoid of the law because you don't like it. That's not how it works. So when the feds come kicking down doors and executing warrants and issuing out subpoenas to take all your electronic devices out your house because of potential wire fraud, don't sit here and go crying about it. Don't be no punk then. And where is she at? She's sending messages out on the phone somewhere. 
But yet, can't nobody find her. G give away your address and your location and the name of that bank you got them shell accounts with. Just, just if you're going to be transparent, go all the way there. So I heard she posted a message, and I, I'm going to react to this because it needs to it needs to be done. Nobody wants to tell her the truth, and everybody wants to treat her like she is actually doing something right or legitimate. Um, real invest companies don't get cease and desist orders. <clears throat> They're not optional. They are enforceable. They are they are legal documents and legal enforcements, legal mandates. So violating that court order would not be conducive to your good liberty and freedom. Plus, you're getting cease and desist orders from other countries. I mean, how brazen can you be about it? Child, please. All right, so let's listen to this nonsense. Hey, guys, Cynthia Perignon here with Novatech, and I did want to reach out to our members just to give you a quick update on where we are with a lot of things, including what's on everyone's mind, which is cash out. So I just want everybody to keep in mind that we did implement changes just two to three weeks ago, and we have been making enormous strides, enormous strides in catching up with our payments and making sure that everybody is getting paid. Are we still lagging? Yes, we are still lagging. But for those of you who are lagging, you haven't like gotten you. paid for X, Y, and Z date, what I am going to ask you is, have you been receiving payments? Uh, we've been making a huge effort to make sure that we are paying not only weekly but daily um, so that people are getting. How many times is this nonsense going to change? It went from weekly. No, it went from once a month around April 1st to now weekly to now daily. So you, you can't even put a policy in place in writing to support your nonsense. Sending out these messages like this is pathetic. It's laughable. And it doesn't even touch the surface of the people who need their money back. They can't get their money back. So I, I let me tell you something. You can sit here and ignore that cease and desist order all you want. And your coat sheet that follow you wherever you go right off a cliff somewhere can sit here and try to ignore it as well. You setting them up for failure. You won't even tell them that you got the cease and desist order and it was issued back on April 4th. Plus, that's not how cease and desist orders really work because she knew that this was coming down the pipeline. Um, because they, they do notify you and let you know what's happening. So it's it's not like she just didn't know. She ain't tell y'all nothing. She still won't even talk about it. She still won't even bring it up. Investigations by a federal government agency or federal court. That's not negative. That's not, oh, they just trying to come against me. Honey, that is, that is a matter of legality. Look, girl. Legality. Whether you like it or not, we have laws in place. Even the Bible, since y'all like, you know, following some fake reverend. Even the Bible says that thou art to obey the laws of the land. What y'all thinking? Ain't no God in that league. God, name out your mouth. You're stealing money. You're lying. You're cheating. Some of y'all full of greed. You don't care if any of your downlines get their money back or anyone else for that matter. And if you're taking more money out than you even put in it, uh, that's still theft because it's not your money. There's no trading. There's no revenue being generated. You're just getting a percentage of other people's money in this stupid scam. Child, please. Some of the balances that they're requesting from their accounts. A lot of companies, Why is you know, they so shut static? down entirely. They don't want to pay entirely. They tell you, you know, this is it, whatever. We, we haven't been doing that. A lot of other companies don't tell you that. That's a damn lie from the pit of hell. Return that lie to sender. Return it to sender. That is not how it works with legitimate investment companies. They do not tell you that. They're going to tell you that they give you a penalty if you try to withdraw, but it depends on what type of account it is. If it's a retirement account, and you're not eligible to receive those payments, meaning you're not 
at the age of retirement, you have not met the um, eligibility as far as work. You're not actually retired. <clears throat> then if you want to pull money out your IRA or a 401k, you can do that, but they're going to tell you flat out. There's an early tax penalty. They're not going to tell you no. They're not going to sit here and give you pennies on the dollar. They're going to give you your money. Novatech is not a bank. You don't get to sit here and harbor people's money. If people want to pull out the whole amount that they put in it, it's not up to you to force them to keep that money in this scam. You're perpetuating the scam by holding on to their funds. Let them pull out and get their money out and be done with it. Because that would be the smart thing to do. We don't want to be that company. I know we are a Jesus. company that everyone has come to rely on for many, many years. And we do want to continue to make sure that that is who we are and how we present ourselves and meet the expectation of our customers. So oh, what I would like girl, to do is post your victims. more regularly every single week to let you know where we are. We're catching up. However, I do want to let you know that, for example... Uh, dating back to the three weeks, we're approximately 90 to 90%, uh, 99% done with those payments. I think uh, dating one to two weeks back, we're about 50 to 60% done with those. So I know one of our leaders indicated that, you know, they have a group of maybe 1,500 people and 15 of them indicated they hadn't gotten paid from a certain date. Guys, let's keep things in perspective. 15 people out of a group of 1,500 is 1% of the population. It don't matter. It doesn't matter. It's their damn money, girl. It doesn't matter, little girl. It does not matter. You have no idea what those 15 people are going through. You have no idea what they may be struggling with. You have no idea how this may be affecting them and their finances. And their livelihood. And their households. Girl, if you don't go kick a rock barefoot. It doesn't matter. You are soulless and heartless to sit here and to even discredit less than 1% of the people that ain't got some money. They all matter. Give them their dang on money and keep it moving. Don't sit here and try to belittle that. You have no idea what these people may be struggling with. Piece of crap. That means 90 to 99% of the population are receiving payments. Um, and it's our goal to continue to catch up. 100% should be like receiving said, all their money from this scam. Weeks ago, and they've been making a huge difference. And we are absolutely 1,000% dedicated oh. to completing our, our mission and, and continuing to grow. Are there other businesses out there you can invest in? Yeah, yes, sure, yes, been. yes, yes, you should. You should invest in legitimate uh, companies that don't sit here and scam people and pull people into a pyramid scheme. And then telling them they're trading when they're not. And then fail to damn register with the SEC. Yes, you should go with a legitimate company. When you lose your money, which is inevitable, um, then what? Then what? Pyramid schemes aren't designed to help everybody. It's designed to only help the people at the top. Those 15 people matter. And I've never discouraged anyone from going out there and trying other businesses. I just know ours is trying to scam. Trip. A right. scam. So I just need everybody to hang in there a little bit longer. At least, you know, we've never hit in our face. We've always made an effort. Well, hold on. She ain't never hit in your face. Where the hell you at then? What's your location? Where your coordinates? What the hell? She ain't never hit her face, but you keep sending out these phone messages. Where the video at? Throw ass on camera so we can tag your location. We continue to do so. All right, so that is our promise to you that we will continue to catch up. If you've been receiving payments, great. If you have not received anything for the last 30 days, I don't know why that would happen, but please. Because it's a scam. You ain't paid out everybody. You just said that it was 15 people out of 1,500 that did not get their money. You know that everybody's not getting their money. What are you talking about? Your fake website, your fake platform, and this fake scam, nonsense company. You know you not pay, you know you have not paid out all of the people in this scam. And there are, there are several people that just want their money back. They don't want you to give them the pennies on the dollar. They want their full investment. 
the audacity of you to hold a money hostage. Like your nerve. Upline, so we can take a look at your account. The audacity. It's a mismatch wallet or some kind of error. No, it's not. But I can tell Get you right money. now, there's nobody in the past 30 days that hasn't gotten paid something. Um, and But you just said, you hypocrite, that there were 15 people out of 1,500 that didn't get paid anything. And then tried to belittle it by saying, well, that's just less than 1%. You are the worst. Like I said, it's our, our mission to continue to do so. Now, with oh. that said. Um, I'm going to go out on a limb here and show Girl, you can jump off a, a little bit more of, of my personal side. Oh so, my God. It has been brought to my attention. Is she crying? As I know sometimes happens. She's crying. When we have areas of difficulty where our leaders are coming under attack. They're not under attack. There is nobody They're under investigation. <laughs> Girl, that's a difference. They know they're not under attack. They're under investigation. Let's just cut the bull. This business, <laughs> other than myself and the other administrators. Oh, God. Oh, no, y'all not under attack. You're under investigation. It's a federal investigation. You guys aren't even using the brain that God gave a billy goat. My good Lord. To think that all of this thievery and scamming and lying and cheating is something actually... That, that pleases God is it's just laughable to me. Under attack? No, you're under investigation. You have cease and desist orders. You won't even say the terms cease, desist, order. You won't even use those terms. Failure to acknowledge the cease and desist orders and the law does not mean that they don't exist. I just really want to know how she going to explain this to a federal judge. I want to say this very loudly and very clearly. If I catch wind yeah. of anyone who is personally attacking or threatening one of our leaders, I promise, ah. you, I promise you I will rain down on you greater than the wrath of God. Ah. Yeah, come on, girl, rain down that, rain down that thunderstorm and then show us where you at. Ah. <laughs> No, she did, Lord. She did it. <laughs> God, you know you watch my videos. Shut up. <laughs> Hold on, me and God having a good laugh. <laughs> he said, he said, no, ma'am. Leave me out of that nonsense. Nope. God just said, leave my name out your mouth. Girl, I ain't got nothing to do with that. <laughs> He didn't tell you to start scamming people. What's wrong with you? <laughs> God did not tell you to scam anybody. The Bible says thou shalt not lie. Thou shalt not steal. You breaking two whole commandments with ease. <laughs> How you sleeping at night? <laughs> oh my goodness, Lord. She said she going to rain down. Rain down the, the, the wrath of what? <laughs> the thunderstorms hide your wives hide your kids because she coming with a thunderstorm <laughs> and we have areas of difficulty where our leaders are coming under attack there is nobody responsible for this business other than myself and the other administrators girl you gonna go to jail for it too. and i want to that's say not this a threat. very loudly and very clearly that's part of our judicial system that's not even a threat when you under investigation for these these charges are some of the hardest charges to defend. And, and, and many lawyers will tell you that white collar crimes are some of the most difficult charges to defend and try in court because it's cumbersome. The paperwork, you got to prove intent. And then you can end up incurring additional charges during the trial or the pretrial. So you, <laughs> you were talking about under attack the fcc is investigating you they're not attacking you <laughs> they, you're not under attack because people are being reported for promoting a scam which is highly illegal what i'm telling y'all y'all better watch my video because i go through wire fraud like never before child please I, you know, we, uh, uh, you owe my, so many people so much money.
between your bankruptcies and lawsuits that you have literally lost, lost because you refuse to pay your debts and your bills. Honey, please. I hope you do come out. When you come out, tell us where the address you're going to be at, city, state, zip code included, or just send the coordinates. <laughs> Girl, you make the SCC, FBI, and my day plus God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. And all the people you owe money to, girl, please make our day. Girl, make our day. Come on out with your raincoat and umbrella and your thunderstorm. There is nobody responsible for this business <laughs> other than myself and the other administrators. Ugh. And I want to say this very loudly and very clearly. Okay. If I catch wind uh -huh. of Anyone Say how my video. who is personally attacking or threatening one of our leaders, I attacking promise and you, threatening. I promise you, I will rain down on you. Rain down on me. Greater than the wrath of God. <laughs> we are all here in business. We are all here in the hopes of making money. <laughs> girl, little girl, little girl, little girl. Come on with that wrath of God. <laughs> Yeah, me, me and God are both waiting on that one. Child boo. <laughs> you girl. Shut up. <laughs> what, what, does, what is Raph going to be at? Please tell us. Send me the address. I right, Give me an invitation. I want to be there to see that Raph from you. <laughs> Come on, girl. Give us the Raph. So me and the FBI and the SEC can be waiting for it. Come on. Where you going to be at? Where, where are you at? Because you're not in Florida. Where you at? What, what's your address now? Yeah, you, are you still in the United States of America? Go ahead. And then y'all done pissed off Russia. <laughs> what? Have y'all not noticed what's going on in Russia? Look, girl, let me give you a word, just a word from the wise here. Um, since you don't understand how politics or finances or math or law, <laughs> federal versus state laws or cease orders work at all. Uh, let me help you out. Um, once you end up on Russia's radar, you stay on that. So if you come out of the woodworks from hiding or whatever you're doing, talking about some rap, oh, yeah. <laughs> yep, we'll wait. <laughs> Girl, you better send me the address where you're going to be at. Go ahead and reveal yourself. Trying to give somebody a wrath, rainstorm and thunder clouds and whatever, a lightning bolt. <laughs> we should all know also, as we have presented ourselves, that there is a risk That's a scam. of loss. And that is not to make excuses for nothing. No. No, no. Y'all don't ever print as it yourselves that there is a risk of loss. Don't try to cover this up. You, you, This is not anything legit. Not at all. This is a scam. You literally have on that fake website still that people can get 3% every week. You don't have on there nothing about no loss. You, you're not that smart to sit here and outsmart a full federal investigation. You're not that smart. You got cease and desist orders coming in back to back to back. And do not think you got the option to abide by that. I, I, I want to know where you're going to be at with this, this rapture and rain and thundercloud. Pain, but it is the environment that we are in. If you cannot mm -hmm. risk loss, if you cannot risk patience in order to get paid, then you cannot. And no, you, nobody needs patience because real investment companies don't do that. Real investment companies don't hold your money. Real investment companies don't tell you you can't get your money out. <laughs> Real investment companies don't operate this way. <laughs> Real investment companies don't sit here and send only messages and then don't tell nobody where you at. <laughs> you ain't got no phone number, email address. How the hell does people get in touch with you? How do they get in touch with you? What's the name of the bank where your shell accounts are? Cause you ain't in Florida, girl. And I know y'all got to be out here eating and living and surviving. You got some money. You got access to cash. So where you at? Where you going to be at when you come out with your thunderbolt and lightning and whatever? 
<laughs> the, the black female version of Jim Jones. Now she's Zeus. <laughs> Come on with this. Come on with this. Just tell us where you going to be at, girl. Come on. Please give away your location. To invest in anything, get out. However, I will she got people not looking for her tolerate to smack. anyone going after any of our leaders or making any idle threats. You it ain't no idle threat. They get reported to the SEC. That's not an idle threat. Your up, your up lies are getting reported to the SEC. That's not an idle threat. Let me explain something to you all. This is a concept that still works to this very day. Divide and conquer. If you don't know what that means from a legal sense, you'll find out. Uh, talk smack, oh, talk correct. smack all you want. Talk and smack, I, I know you talking smack. Tell us where you gonna be at with that rapture, girl. <laughs> where you at? Also taking loss and many other investments. <laughs> I can't believe you said you come with the rapture, guard. Wait a minute. Risk loss. If you cannot risk patience. In order to get paid, what? then you cannot afford to invest, and you need to get out. Ooh, However, so this is what she gonna say when they finally interrogate her behind. Y'all have y'all y'all honestly don't really you really cannot comprehend how fast she gonna throw y'all under the bus. I didn't tell them to recruit anybody. This this doesn't operate just on recruits. Okay, so prove to us the trader. Well, I don't know how to we prove to us that you're trading. What where's the documentation, receipts, or something to prove that you're trading? Because our IT, our IT cybersecurity people and our analysts looked at the programming for your website and then what? So what's your answer gonna be when they ask you that under attack? Girl, they're under investigation. <laughs> this is so funny. Lord, she says she coming with your wrath or something. Brainstorm. Hide your wives, hide your kids, because she got a thunderbolt. But I will not <laughs> tolerate anyone going after any of our leaders or oh. making any idle threats. You want to talk smack, talk smack all you want. But as a leader, my I don't want an idle threat. I, I'm sorry. How does, how does the SEC or FBI make idle threats? Or the courts? Or these federal government agencies issuing... Uh, cease and desist orders. How are those out of threats? Girl, you are not above the law. Look, girl, you are not above the law. No, ma'am. That's not how it works. It, that, it, it don't work that way. No one is above the law. And you should be obeying the laws of the land. You should be participating in trying to show that you don't have anything to hide by cooperating with these agencies and these courts that's issuing these cease and desist orders. Have you responded to the last one yet in Wisconsin? I'm going to tell y'all, I'm sure she has, because she's been using y'all money to get her attorneys. I can guarantee you that. She ain't, she, she ain't without representation. She ain't that broke. She, she, got, she got some attorneys that's telling her, um, you ain't got to tell them, but you got to do this. And you ain't got no option. You can't keep ignoring them either because you know they cease and desist orders. Orders. Not letters. Orders. Child, please. You going to go in the courtroom? That's going to be your defense when you start getting hit with these lawsuits. You done already lost all your lawsuits so far. And you filing bankruptcy? What you going to do? File bankruptcy again? You got to pay restitution. Where you at? Please come out with that raft. So that the uh, people know where to build your behind for restitution. What's your address? It's a coordinates or something. As an investor myself. Oh, no, you're not investing. No, ma'am. And many other investments. And I think ours is. And you need. If she invests in this in the real stock market, and it's certainly not in this scam. <laughs> Scammers don't invest in their own scam. You can literally just go down the list of. All the case laws from Charles Ponzi to Sam Bake Me Free to the chick with Theranos to Bernie Madoff to Enron. How many, how many more you want? Look at how those leaders behave when they scam started falling apart and collapsing. Look at just, just look at the trend of what happens. All of them, 
all of them file bankrupt. They file bankrupt. You're not going to be able to just go from one more scam to another more scam again. You went from AWS Mining, which was a scam, to now Novatech, which is a scam. Because you refuse to register with the SEC as if you are above that federal law. Girl, if you don't go somewhere under attack, it's called under investigation. Shut up. To get out. <clears throat> However, I will not tolerate anyone going after any of our leaders or making any idle threats. You want to. There ain't no idle threat. Talk smack, talk smack all you want. Oh, okay, so people going to be filing lawsuits against you. The end. That's not talking smack. And it's not a threat. You've already been sued in your lifetime. You've been sued more than I, I know anyone. I don't know nobody that's been sued as much as you have and lost every single one of them. <laughs> you literally have never won any of your lawsuits. Why don't you pay that, that going credit card debt $11,000 off? Pay that, pay that bill. Pay them, pay those buyers that you owe money to. Pay that mortgage company you owe money to. Pay your debts. Pay your bills. Girl, you don't kick rocks. But as a leader myself, as an investor myself, you're not investing in your so own scam. You're not investing in your own scam because it ain't no trading. Right. Anyone <coughs> going after any of our leaders or making any idle threats. That's you funny. Wanna talk smack, talk smack all you want. But as a leader myself, make an idle as threat. An investor myself, what you going to do about it? Also taking loss and many other investments. And I think ours is still the best. Y'all can't sue somebody because they filed a lawsuit against you because you took their money. What you, what you, what you gonna do again? <laughs> oh God, she gonna come with the rapture. The ra ra what she say, wrath, the rapture, wrath. Some, something gonna happen with a rain. I heard rain and a thundercloud. <laughs> I need you guys to understand. Then I stand behind what we do. Nope. Oh, keep doing that. No, no, no. Nope, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Yes, please. Please keep standing behind what you do as you record yourself saying this. To get out. However, she I say will y'all just not get out. Lord. tolerate anyone going after any of our leaders or making any idle threats. You want to talk smack, talk Take smack. Idle threat. See, this is not an idle threat. As an investor myself, who has also taking loss and many other investments girl and i think ours is still the best many other investments she only invest in her know. own company though you 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 can't even admit you got a cease and desist order you don't invest in your own company your own scam what's the name of the bank where your shell accounts at take that money out and put it into your scam and pay back these victims that want their money back in full Tell about to get out oh you still owe them money and they will sue you. And they have every right to sue you. You trying to tell somebody not to file a lawsuit. Girl, what the? This is the United States of America. What you taking? Look, you got freedom of speech. You got the right to file a lawsuit. You got the right to acquire representation. You got the right to an attorney. And you also have the right to remain silent. You might want to start exercising that right. <laughs> God. However, I will not. <laughs> Tolerate anyone going <laughs> after any of our leaders or making any idle threats. And you ain't gonna do nothing. Gonna you ain't gonna do nothing. Talk smack, talk smack all you want. But as a leader myself, exactly. you ain't gonna do nothing. As an investor myself, who has also you will taken do loss and many other investments, and I think ours is still the best. No, it's not. It's I need a scam. you guys to understand the best scam. That I stand behind what we do, and I stand behind the people who are with. Yeah, it's the best. It's the best scam. I want to know what you're going to do when people start filing more lawsuits against you and more states start issuing cease and desist orders against you. Two down, 48 to go. What you going to do when the FBI come knocking on your door? Don't think you can just hide from that. I, I hope you don't think you can just hide at this point. All this advanced technology, we got satellites in space, girl. What you, what you think you going to I honestly would love for you to come out and, and do a raft show or something or whatever you think you're going to do. So you can just reveal yourself. You won't even tell people where you at. You know, just talk smack all you want. It's not smack. You need to stop doing these recordings, but that's on you. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not even trying to help you out at this point. If you were smart enough, I was hoping that your attorney would have told you 
Uh, gag it up. Gag it up. Gag it up. Stop talking. Mm-mm. You, you, th you three and oh right down with these cease and desist orders. Three. <laughs> three. One of them from a whole nother country. Girl, girl gone. Girl, bye, bye, Felicia. Going after any of our leaders or making any bye, other Felicia. threats. You want to talk smack, talk smack all you want. Yeah, because we got the right myself, to talk. As an investor myself. Oh, my God. Who has also taken loss on many other investments. And I think ours is still the best. I Your need you guys to understand really that I stand behind what we do, and I stand behind the people who are with us, and by all mm -hmm. means necessary, we will move forward. <laughs> all right, so look out for a message in the back office as far as updates are concerned, um, and like I said, if you have not received any payments whatsoever... I'm still curious as to what she gonna do when people start filing lawsuits against her. Y'all actually think I... I, I'm a party. Stop asking me, are you into Novatech? I don't need to be in a scam to know it's a scam. That, that's that's dumb. That's a dumb question. Just like you all saying, I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. It's the dumbest thing ever. Who told y'all to say that? Are you telling these folks to say that in front of their videos before they start promoting this scam? Like that's going to completely absolve them of a potential wire fraud charge? Is that what you're doing? Do you not understand the predicament you finna put these people into? You already have a cease and desist that has one of your promoters named in that cease and desist. More uplines will be reported because some of your dumb uplines are not responding to their people in their group. They're ignoring them. They're not getting their money. You're telling people you just gonna have to hang in there for a few more months. You holding people's money hostage. And then you keep recording it. You keep recording it. Girl, you're not even using the common sense God gave a billy goat. You keep recording yourself. If you can't even show your face, just stay silent altogether. What kind of, what, what you going to do with somebody file a lawsuit? It coming out there and attacking somebody. Who? What this is the weirdest cult I've ever heard of in my entire life. The weirdest cult. I, I just I, I I can't wrap my head around. It. I'm not even be honest. I'm not even trying to, but I'm I'm just curious because see then you come out the woodwork trying to rain some wrath on somebody, or, or rain thunderstorm whatever. Uh, then you give yourself away because you don't want nobody to know where you at. I know you hear my videos and you see my videos because I, I know they've been sent to you. I know you do. You can't, honey, you can't go up against the law and think you're going to win when you're ignoring it. Cease and desist orders aren't meant for you to ignore. They're enforced because you violated the law. That is all your fault and yours alone. You are sitting here brainwashing people into this nonsense. And the first thing that's going to happen, I'm telling y'all, remember I said divide, divide and conquer. You're not that smart, little girl, because you keep recording yourself. Last 30 days, for whatever reason, please contact us so that we can look into it. How? Everyone else, guys, is getting paid. All right? God bless. Have a good night. What? Still the best. I need you guys to understand that I stand behind what we do and I stand behind the people who are with us. And what? This is a cult. all means necessary, we will move forward. All right, so look out for a message in the back office as far as updates are concerned. Um, and like I said, if you have not received any payments whatsoever in the last 30 days, for whatever reason, please contact us so that we can look into it. Everyone else, guys, is getting paid. All right? God bless. Have a good night. Everybody else getting paid. Paid what? You you literally admitted in the beginning of the video. See, do why you need to stop recording. You're not, not, not that bright. You, you get your attorney to give you some advice to stop doing this. Because you literally said in the beginning, out of 1,500 people, only 15 didn't get paid. Then you turn around and say, I don't know how they're not getting paid. I don't know if it's something with a wallet or something. You don't, if you don't even understand 
how that works. If you can't look at it from a programming stance to figure out what's really going on wrong, don't sit here and try to blame it on your stupid software with your fake website. Don't do that. Just give them their money. Would you? Why are you mad at people for wanting to get their own money back? Why are you mad about that? It's not your money. You can't control the situation, honey. You violating laws. You, you got your followers and your cult followers violating whole law, putting themselves at risk because they posting stuff up on public platforms thinking that deleting a video is going to get it removed permanently. Like there's not a such thing as a backup server. What is wrong with you? And you're not going to defend none of these people when or if they fall under the investigations just like you. People have the right to file a lawsuit. They have the right to pursue any legal matter or civil matter in the court of law. If you owe them money and they can prove they paid it in the state of Wisconsin, you got to pay restitution. And don't you dare file bankrupt before you pay that restitution to them folks in Wisconsin. You would think you would be smart enough to just stop, cease, and desist with your illegal activity. But, you know, court documents don't lie. The law is what it is. You're not above it. And you're definitely not above reproach. It's not a threat. It's an investigation. It's called a lawsuit. And I encourage people to follow. You have the right to do it. You have the right to have your money reclaimed and to be made whole. If you want to pull out of this scam, pull out of it. If she sit here and try to harbor your money, take her to court. You got the right to do that. That's not a threat. You should be very, very concerned about all these cease and desist orders that you keep getting. And you want people to ignore and overlook. Contact me how? Where you at? I, if you come out, please come out with your rapture raft or whatever the rain clouds going to be so you can reveal yourself. Let us know where you're going to be at. Like I said, I want an invitation when you come out with your raft. It's going to be one heck of a show. <laughs> you ain't going to go file, file a lawsuit. Hopefully you understand what defamation of character is before you think that's what stands because somebody said something you don't like. Or, or said that they're going to file a lawsuit because you're not giving them their money back. And they've been requesting it. You're going to have some cease and desist letters coming your way too. Because anyone can file that. Any individual can file a cease and desist letter. See, you're trying to take away people's right to do their research, to pursue any legal um, challenges against you that they want to pursue. You don't want people to say something you don't like. Your so-called punk up lines are sitting here trying to be overly sensitive because they, they're they avoiding calls, emails, and messages, and all this other stuff, and people just want their money back. And they mad. They more mad because somebody want to get out this cult. They more upset about that. But yet, they're not even thinking to themselves, hmm, <laughs> If she's not getting her money back, then what is really going on? Girl, y'all better stop. Let me tell y'all something. She's not an attorney. She will not be able to represent you in the court of law. She will not be able to represent you on the day of judgment. She won't even be able to stand before God on your behalf. You're going to stand alone. And you're going to be judged for all that you've done wrong. People are not playing with you. Life is hard and times are tough and you got people out here that are suffering and they're really going through some things and they just want their money back. And they're not getting their money back. Your uplines are ignoring them because they too mad about somebody wanting to damn distance themselves from this stupid cult. You're not even telling people that you got cease and desist orders. Your own people in this scam, you're not even telling them about your cease and desist orders. Girl, if you don't kick all rocks barefoot. Tell my aunt, I'm not going to tolerate the, I'm not going to tolerate the threats, idle threat. It's not idle. 
Any and everybody has the opportunity to file a cease and desist letter. You don't need an attorney for that. And all that I get and get some understanding. Y'all got to start reading and researching. Don't let this woman sit here and get you caught up in any situations that you're not going to be bold enough, brave enough, or financially stable enough to fight. It ain't enough money in the world to get some attorneys when y'all are sitting here willingly promoting a scam. I have literally been telling some of you people, stop doing it. And I know many of you that actually watch my videos. And I had to do this too because I had to reemphasize some information that I put in one of my videos reacting to unlimited freedom. Vaughn, you wrong. Bottom line, you wrong. That was almost two hour video. Had the most views I've ever had for a Novatech video. And it was reacted to one of his videos, but I had commentary in it as well. And he tried to claim a copyright con on the content on it. So where's the copyright content in that video, Vaughn? What, what, what part of the video was copyrighted? Because when you upload a video, it goes through those published checks. Where's the copyright material in that video? You, you don't get to claim the whole video on the copyright because I have commentary in that as well that you don't get to claim. So I had to delete that and then reemphasize the information in my video that I'm uploading tonight as well as this video here. If you all think that you are absolved of any fraud charges, especially wire fraud, Simply because you say you are not a licensed or certified financial advisor. I don't know where y'all get that from. Just like y'all keep talking about deceased orders only limited to Wisconsin. We have federal laws that says you must register with the SEC. Or you don't do any trade within the United States of America. You better go on somewhere. You violate a whole federal law and you think you're supposed to still do what you want to do. It don't work that way, boo-boo. I know you're going to see my videos. I know you are. Please do. Let me know where you're going to be at when you bring your thunderbolt and your rapture. Your, a raft. Whatever you think you want, you going to bring. Because <laughs> I'm going I'm to make sure that all the right people are there. To see you and your raft and your thunderstorm. We're going to have our umbrellas and raincoats. <laughs> We're going to be waiting on that. Yes, ma'am. We will be waiting for that. You owe so much, so much money to people, honey. All them going to be there. <laughs> don't pay that credit card bill off get off the phone to stop recording messages the horrible sound quality go home somewhere go to bed little girl time for you, time for you to go to bed go, go to bed read a book call an attorney y'all see here talking about being attacked God ain't in this he ain't gonna condone thievery and scams and lying and cheating this cultish behavior. You don't condone none of that. Two whole commandments being violated with one scam. You want to sit here and talk about, y'all can talk to smack. We got the right to free speech here. I don't know what country you in right now where they may have restrictions on their rights and freedoms. But here in the United States of America, every person has the right to file a lawsuit and get an attorney. To seek legal help and legal resolution. In the court of law. And there's nothing you can do about that. But show up in court. Or if you don't. They automatically get their judgment. Granted in their favor. Which means you still going to keep losing lawsuits. You done already lost four. And <laughs> you four and oh. Oh and four for four losses and zero wins. Child please. You better not file bankrupt. Before you pay them people back in Wisconsin. You got 30 days. According to that cease order. You got 30 days to pay all them folks restitution. So get the paying. Write them checks. Stop worrying about your, your uplines being reported to the SEC. They can't do nothing about that. If they ain't doing that wrong, then they're going to fight it. Get an attorney and do whatever. You got some cult members that are sitting here talking about they're going to go to prison over you. And I don't know why, because you won't do it for them. You're telling people to have patience. And just wait or get out. You're disgusting. And you don't have a soul. God, I, the angels, 
Jesus, God the Father, Son, the Holy Ghost, the FBI, SEC, all of us laughing at you. You want you to do us all a favor and just go turn yourself in. Child, please. Give up your evidence. Y'all better watch that Sam Bankman Freed uh, documentary. That give you a little taste of what divide and conquer means. You'll find out the hard way. All right. Um, this was highly entertaining. <laughs> I'll wait with the raincoat and the umbrella. And yeah, we'll all be there. Because we want to see this rap show. It's going to be hilarious. Y'all make sure you all file your cease and desist letters. Scams don't need to be infiltrated in the economy. She may not even be in this country to even care about our economy over here. And it's not right to sit here and take out more money than what you put in it because you're taking other people's money. And there are a lot of people who just want their money back. They want to walk away and leave this dumb crap alone. Black female version of Jim Jones in stupid coat. They do want to walk away and leave this nonsense alone. You got people out here hurting and lost. And all y'all doing is just displaying your greed and wire fraud all over the place. Stop it. None of this is benefiting you. Honestly, it, it personally don't make me no difference. I, I just got to be honest and say that. It don't make me no difference. I care about these people out here that are hurting and they have lost money. The savings. Don't sit around here and tell somebody to only invest what you can afford to invest. Some of these people that invested are young adults in college. 18, 19, 20, 21 years old, trying to find their way. Learning how to invest. May need the money for school to help them with their college tuition expenses. Where the hell y'all going to be at telling people only invest what you can afford to lose? That cultish mindset is so stupid. Y'all promise 3% returns every week. You don't think some of these people out here will get big eyed, wide eyed, and be impressed by that? Especially if they want a financial boost in life. It's insensitive. It's cold and it's heartless to keep saying that when you have people who may not be well-versed and knowledgeable about trading some dumb crypto. And y'all talk is fake anyway. It really have no value outside of Novatech. You sitting here lambasting, and you got your cronies and your cult members attacking people for wanting to get out this dumb cult, out this dumb scam. They trying to get away from y'all. Just give them their money back. Give them their money back. But either way, for those who want to take action and get your money back because your uplines are dumb and they're ignoring you. And she keep posting up messages like, you know, <laughs> like this is being ignored or something. I don't, I don't know what you expect. People recording and they posting it up on YouTube, which is a public platform. So good luck to that. Um, if y'all want to go the legal route, go the legal route. You got every right to file a lawsuit. You got every right to file a cease and desist letter. Any individual can do that. I went through that whole process in my video. So trust me when I tell you, she does not have an option and she knows she doesn't to uphold those cease and desist letters. Those cease and desist orders. And those letters, if you choose to ignore it, can turn into more lawsuits. But when you're not being attacked, you're being investigated. There's a difference. And your attorney should have told you that. Tell everybody where you at. You want to do us a favor. Child, please. So you guys make sure you do what you need to do. Get your money back. She has no right to hold hostage anybody's money. You want out? Tell them cult members to get the heck on because they're not going to pay your rent. They're not going to pay your bills. They're not going to take care of your kids' tuition or daycare expenses or buy food or pay your insurance or car payments. They're not going to help you with none of that. 
whatever you wanted to do with the money that you thought you were generating through a legitimate investment, they're not going to have these uplines, these folks that's dodging calls and emails and text messages, they're not going to help you. They too busy being mad that you don't want to be in this nonsense anymore. If you got to pull your money, if you worried about people pulling their money out, And then talking about, well, you know, that's it's not gonna it's not gonna work if you do that. Well, you you're reiterating the fact that it's a scam because there's no other way that revenue is being generated. It's only being generated when you bring people into this scam. So good luck with your restitution payments. I hope you come in with the raft show and get them people their money back in Wisconsin. <laughs> Pay that $50,000 fine because they will issue a warrant for your arrest if you don't. Keep playing with these courts, this federal process, and our federal laws if you want to. You're going to be in for a rude awakening, honey. And you and your attorney are going to have one hell of a time trying to defend all this nonsense. Or you could just cease and desist. Either way, you still going to have to face some investigations and a whole trial and everything else. So cut this nonsense out and do the right thing. Get these people their money back and then they'll get the hell on somewhere and mind their business and go on with life and let y'all cult members just sit here and feed off each other. I don't know what the hell y'all doing at this point. Child boo. Stop saying that these people don't invest money you can't afford to lose. It's too late to tell people that, that already put money into this. And they want their money back and they're not getting it back. They can't get in touch with you. They up lies ignoring them because they just want to get out of this stupid nonsense. This dumbass scam. It's too late to say that to people. So why don't some of y'all who got way more money than you should have gotten. Get these people their money back. They want their money back and be done with it. Up lines. Y'all sitting here ignoring your down lines. Don't take it as a threat or an insult because they file a lawsuit and they name you in it. That's just how it is. If you're telling people, well, you just got to, you know, accept the fact that you're going to have some losses. Well, y'all going to have to accept the fact that you're going to have some lawsuits. <laughs> you see how I did that? They got to accept the fact they're going to have a loss. Well, then you have to accept the fact that you're going to have some lawsuits. That you're going to have to stand in the court of law and attest to something. Be deposed and put on an oath. You're going to have to face that fact. Since you want to be insensitive and cold-hearted towards the people out here that want their money back. And that's all they want. And then they will walk away from this stupidity. Since you want to be that cold-hearted about it. Then don't sit here and become a punk when somebody tell you they're going to file a lawsuit against you and your dumb up line. Y'all don't have a soul or a conscience if you think that's how it goes. That you're supposed to just do this and get away with it without somebody being upset about it when they want their money. You messing up people's livelihood. You ain't learned nothing from losing four lawsuits and two bankruptcies. Three cease and desist orders. Then you're not going to learn nothing until the FBI come kicking your door in. Good luck to that. Uh, and make sure you record it so we can all see that live. Please, FBI, if y'all want y'all to get ready to do that, uh, make sure all y'all body cameras on because I sure want to see that footage. To the people who really are hurting and they're victims of this stupid scam, file your cease and desist letters. And when she fails to respond, which she will, because she literally thinks she's untouchable or her uplines, because it's the only way they're going to learn, then file a lawsuit. You have the right to do it. None of them are going to take care of you. You get your money back, file your lawsuit, and then hopefully everything works out for you. Until then, the SEC and the FBI and God, the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, we all just waiting on your dumb rap show. Girl, kick rocks.